I wanted to speak out on domestic abuse primarily in the black culture with black females and there's this loyalty that black women have for black males and a lot of that has been taught to black females to support black men and I don't find anything wrong with that but what is wrong is when black women are disproportionately affected by domestic abuse and so it does happen in relationships where black males and females are together and there are some men who come from backgrounds where they have witnessed domestic abuse in their families and they have accepted it as the norm and so when they grow up they get in a relationship and emulate what they have seen in their household or what they've seen other black males do like signs of domestic abuse lack of friendship withdrawal for fa from family a lot of times women of uh, abuse situation will be in denial of her own circumstance her own demise in that relationship and protect her abuser and so she will often make excuses for the abuser and I'm not saying this doesn't happen in other cultures but I'm focusing on black females because there's been a lot of protests there's been a lot of movements rallying around black lives matter recently and there's been the issue of black males being gunned down by police which is rightfully so it has been happening and it is like a real issue in America but also black women have been abused and you see sometimes black women will be in so much denial they'll support their boyfriend and their husband even though he could be attacking and abusing and raping her and she might find an outlet through food and substance abuse it could be alcohol or pills sleeping a lot withdrawing from your family and accepting abuse accepting being called uh, bitches hut, us whores sluts tricks uh, strawberry side piece jump off all these names that come from uh, men who enjoy abusing women there is denial of abuse in families even you'll have women black women who are married and they're in a relationship and they a hundred percent will support that mate and they want to they want to keep the marriage together so they don't want to sacrifice him beating the kids or leaving her or taking the kids or hurting her family so she'll accept abuse and get attacked and beat in front of the kids and that happens complex issues dealing with racism sexism more likely that woman could be abused even more so and you had the incident with defending your abuser and this in particular case where you have Raven running back Ray Rice where he abused his wife knocking her unconscious in a New Jersey casino and domestic and intimate partner violence is a family secret in the black community and so like I said complex issues like racism sexism mean black women are more likely to become victims and so you heard them come out and speak out and you know a lot of times black women are told to be loyal to their mates but you can't escape the fact that here I'm reading from an article it says and while black women make up 8% of the population 22% of homicides that result from domestic violence happen to black women 29% of all victimized women making it one of the leading causes of death for black women ages 15 to 35 statistically we experience sexual assault and a disproportionate rate that have highest rates of intraracial violence against us and any other group we are also less likely to report and seek help from the victimizers so a lot of times black females will rally around that black male and make excuses and then they will even become defensive towards people who 
who are trying to help her. So if you try to come and help, they might want to then be defensive and defend that abuser. So that has happened. And I've seen women where they'll accept being cheated on just to be with that partner. They'll accept the lies. They'll accept the beatings. They'll accept the abuse just to say that they're with that mate. And it could be a number of reasons. Black women experience intimate partner violence at a rate of 35% or higher than white women. And so there's a lot of talk about uh, the rapes that are happening in these colleges. And that's a big issue right now. But there are also rapes that happen to black females and other m females as well. But black females tend to they'll withdraw from family and friends, they'll be in denial about their abuse more often because number one reason, racism is put at the forefront. Racism towards black people as a whole, racism towards black men. So when you see these protests and you see these movements, they'll like Black Lives Matter, which I commend some of the efforts, but there's a lot more going on accepting abuse in, in accepting it in families is going on in black families, the accepting of abuse and the allowing of abuse and looking at abuse as, oh, it's nothing, you know, so what, I can get over it, this is my man, I'm going to support him, even though he's left you with the kids, there's a lot of abandonment, there's a lot of talk about black women raising children alone and a lot of that is because they were with someone who was either abusive or he was neglectful or he chose other women to sleep with and abandon the responsibility of being a father and so a lot of that is because they experienced being abandoned as children black ma males have been you know in situations where it, abuse was tolerated and you had this movie that came out recently with Michelle a but this is a picture of Rihanna you know that whole incident right there the Chris Brown and Rihanna incident and I, I want to mention that real quick let me backtrack I digress um, there was a comedians that were making fun of Rihanna as if it's nothing to see a black woman being abused and treated bad and beat up and then you had this biopic movie that um or you know that was on lifetime with michelle talking about dr dre and suge knight and the abuse that she dealt with with dr dre during the time her rise to fame and then her demise in that relationship and then also learning and triumph that when she came out of the relationship she learned lessons she had to take care of her family and support her family and she had to stand on her own two feet and so these issues are real in the black community and they're not talked about enough they're not uh, talked about enough and you have all these guys or all these people on social outlets talking about uh, supporting black people and black lives matter and black this and black that these pro-black people but when it comes to women black females being abused nobody is speaking out enough on those issues and so that might be a contributor as to why you see and i won't even say might it is a, a number one reason why there are single parent black families where there's a black woman raising kids because she is either a victim or she's come out of a situation it could be any form of abuse it could be neglect it could be physical abuse it could be spousal abuse it could be just abandonment and so you know Michelle talked about uh dr dre and suge knight and i i i saw dr dre at a club um with snoop dogg and he was drinking and there was an incident ha that happened at the club where I, I believe he attacked a woman and so the part when she said that he dr the drinking and the abuse that is true the thing with suge knight him seeing other women in while he was incarcerated that is true and i, I could tell you more about that but I, I'll, I'll maybe talk about that later but there are other signs of abuse uh, women will wear makeup to hide their scars 
there's social media harassment and humiliation of black women it's it's rampant on youtube and there's like i said now i'll get back to the the suge knight thing he it didn't really show that he was as physically abusive as dr dre was to michelet but there's different types of forms of abuse it could be neglect it could be the male he cheats on other women and he wants you to accept that as well i'm paying you like in the movie he was saying to michelle well i'm taking care of you so she was supposed to ex just accept him cheating and seeing other women and this is prevalent this has happened and and it is still happening in black families where the male thinks it's okay for him to see and sleep with other uh, females and maybe other males you know so these things are accepted in a culture who has dealt with a lot of of racism a lot of hate and it's never really talked about in detail and it's high time or long overdue that it be talked about that it um not saying it doesn't happen in other cultures but primarily in the black um, american cultures it has happened where women it just are not looked at are not valued enough and it's even on media where if a white woman is abused they want a campaign around abuse and they want to focus on that abuse or if a black man hits a white woman we've got to we got to do something about this but if it happens to black females you don't hear that much about it and so black women are killed just as much as black males from gun uh, violence of police and, and in their own homes with their own boyfriends and husbands and partners that they rally around in support of Black Lives Matter and they get attacked and abused and accepted because they think, oh, you know, you got to support black people. And I'm not saying that that they shouldn't. You should support your culture. You should be proud of who you are, but you should also acknowledge abuse that's happening within those family networks. And that's what why you see so many black women who are uh, by themselves and they would prefer to raise their kids in solitude and peace because they may have come out of a, a negative relationship with their mate. So it may be more peaceful being the the head of the household so they may have been victims of violence black women and girls lives matter too so it's just as important i thought those issues were important to bring out we need more support of black females